Graduation day is always a day for rejoicing, for it marks the conclusion of an educational journey and the commencement of another chapter of your quest for a better life and future. Today also signifies the culmination of many years of hard work in the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Knowledge that will enable you, dear graduates, to embrace opportunities and take on challenges with a clear vision and purpose. With this laudable milestone in your life, you are all the living proof that indeed, in these challenging times, in this new normal situation we are in, it is true that in order to accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream, not only plan, but also believe. Dear family and friends, welcome to the third senior high school graduation ceremony and the 12th commencement exercises of Ashenda Kuchita National High School. This year's theme, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. To start, let us all together sing with pride our national anthem. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. To bless this momentous occasion, let us all together seek divine intervention. To lead us all in prayer, we have Eddie Fernandez Jr., Academic Awardee of the Graduating Class. This will be followed by the singing of Regional Hymn, Division Hymn, and Our School Hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Lord God, your name is worthy, glorious, Almighty in power, and we claim victory today in your name. To you the darkness shines as bright as the day, Lord. Shine your light upon us. Free us. Give us peace and snatch us back from the enemy's grip. For you are the best protector and undestroyable shield in every day of our lives. Lord God, you are the source of light during this pandemic. We believe in the power of your healing. May your strength will become our strength, Lord. You are great, and your greatness will be rooted in our heart forever. We truly believe, Lord, that this battle has an ending. We will remain optimistic, and we will never end our passion to serve and believe you, Lord. We are comforted by the fact that you are our constant, that no matter how bleak the future may be, or how things have become so unpredictable, your presence, Lord, gives us faith and a sense of direction to tread on the right path. Lord God, we thank you for the another completion of academic year and for allowing us to reach the pedestal of triumph. Thank you for making us achieve something important in our lives. Lord God, we owe to you this momentous event. Your name let this one-of-a-kind achievement possible. May you give us more abundant and successful years of fun, learnings, and wisdom. Lord God, thank you for letting us be a part of this good-hearted and passionate academic, the Ichkonians family. Lord, may you continue to lavish bountiful knowledge and wisdom to our teachers who were served as foundation for us to become better individuals. These achievements, Lord, could not be possible if without your presence 
and without teachers passion in action lord we lift our family up to you we long for our home to be covered in your peace and presence we pray for each of our family members to draw nearer to you today we ask that you would bring healing comfort and peace to their bodies thank you god for all your blessings to us and to our family for the strength you give each day and for all the people around us who make life more meaningful we truly believe in proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 that the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy one is understanding it is our prayer that what you have entrusted to us would be able for us to magnify your name and our alma mater use our excellence to stand in awe of thy power and always a blessing unto our family and community as well these things we pray through our personal lord and savior jesus christ amen in the name of the father and of the son of the holy spirit amen The western beside and blue skies, the cradle of hope for the young ones lies. Sows the seed of love and zest for life, with real vision of beacon light. Keep the song alive in our hearts, song of the great western desires. Echoing the love and pride of years gone by The region's banner proudly held high Western desires, home of champions Seed of lofty dreams and wisdom Treasure trove of knowledge and devotion To greatness beyond our games before Glory, working towards excellence and quality, never to quit, never to falter, hand in hand we strive together. Western Visayas, home of champions, seeds of lofty dreams and wisdom, treasure trove of knowledge and devotion to greatness beyond our gains before to greatness beyond our gains before
from the southland viewing and hopes from the north he is waiting it's God's grace for us to shine and every time in every side in education we obtain and endure from our alma mater Hacienda Contita National High School my alma mater dear with excellent commitment forward and its own and carriers of hope, my alma mater dear. In the early hours we give thanks of what's around us, wonderful words from above, move on its own, to the future we aspire and realize. Our vision and vision from the west mountains swinging from the east breezes winging from the south land peering and hopes from the north he is waiting it's God's grace for us to shine and every time, in every sight, in education, we obtain and endure from our alma mater. Hacienda Conchita National High School, my alma mater dear, with excellence, commitment, forward and its own. And carriers of hope, my alma mater dear. Hacienda Conchita National High School, my alma mater dear. With excellence, commitment, forward and its own. And carriers of hope, my alma mater dear. And carers of hope, my alma mater dear. Brian McHill once said, and I quote, One of the most sincere forms of respect is actually listening to what another has to say. Let us now hear warm messages for our graduates from our Deputy Secretary, Secretary Leonor Magtulis Briones, from our Regional Director, Dr. Ramir B. Oitico, from our School's Division Superintendent, Sir Roel F. Bermejo, and from our Officer in Charge, Mrs. Emilia D. Flores. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically, where we've always thought We've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. 
this time you parents you family members you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally finally our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise so congratulations because this year has not been very easy has not been a, a picnic for our teachers for our family members as well uh, especially the parents mothers fathers sisters brothers and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time so maraming salamat at congratulations parents and family members mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises secondly i would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners so congratulations teachers for enduring for your patience for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to assessment must have been especially difficult for you especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings and most of the meetings of course were virtual we'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest for their cooperation and for their continuing and continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education even as our children do not go to school your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers by our school officials but also by our officials in the department of education we continually talk with local government units especially in times of disaster in times of great need for classrooms for space and for responses to unforeseen emergencies thank you uh, local government uh, units but of course most of the congratulatory uh, greetings of fall on the deserving uh, graduate each and every one of you is truly special you are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school you went to school practically without seeing your teachers if at all you went to school with your parents your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments you are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different you are culminating 
these uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker of course is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and under one as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies. 
and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for f further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world, and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies, during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates. And we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so, we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, dear graduates and completers of school year 2020-2021. You make us all look at the future with anticipation and pride. You have once again proven that true champions can thrive in the midst of the challenging realities of life. Your sheer grit and resilience have brought you this far in your lifelong pursuit of quality education. Your achievements call for a celebration. You have risen above the worst of times and have responded to the overwhelming demands of the new normal with Elan. Your education must not only be reflected in your report cards, but must be manifested in how you masterfully deal with life, an embodiment of courage, compassion, character, and competence. As you relish this moment, 
Remember to celebrate your success with our indefatigable advocates and champions of quality education. Teachers, parents, school administrators, education leaders, stakeholders, and friends, among others. Your success seals our triumph over trials. It propels our collective aspiration for a brighter future despite the limitations caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. This is just the beginning of a beautiful journey ahead. We firmly believe in your potential for success because in DepEd Region 6, every child is a champion. As you cross this time of immense challenges and great opportunities, keep your passion for greatness alive. May your achievements inspire everyone to move forward with a renewed sense of hope, meaning, and purpose. Together, we shall rise as one. Ipadayong ta ang pagpalanggaanay. Once again, congratulations and mabuhay. I greet all completers and graduates of the school's division of Iloilo for having hurdled the most challenging school year in our time, school year 2020-2021. This is the second time that we celebrate and recognize the hard work and success of our learners where there is absence of colorful and festive programs attended by parents, teachers, learners, and other stakeholders. Since the end of the last school year, schools have started using online portals to banner the fruits of educating young minds despite the challenges and difficulties posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Indeed, no pandemic or any calamity of this kind shall ever weaken our spirits to persevere for the good of our schools, especially of our learners. This year's theme, Kalidad ng Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemia, is a testament to the Department of Education's desire of bringing quality, accessible, relevant and liberating basic education to every Filipino learner staying at home due to the pandemic. To our learners, especially the completers and graduates, these times of great challenge call us once more to understand fully what resilience means. This word may be hazy for many of you today, but resilience is not just about being able to overcome experiences due to adversities, disasters, or calamities. A psychologist said, resilience is the ability to rebound from setbacks without being discouraged by external circumstances. Let the difficulties you have encountered this school year make you more highly self-motivated and equipped to face challenges big and small. We cannot be ourselves without the other and without the others. And so we thank everyone, the teachers, community leaders, local government unit officials, alumni, and parents for never abandoning us in our fight for education. Truly, we will not be victorious in this fight without you supporting us throughout this journey. We recognize most especially the role of our parents, our strongest and most important collaborators in this new normal of education, for they did not only contribute to the final realization, but at the same time participate in our mission of developing lifelong learners. This pandemic has affected so many, but as long as the family is complete, life goes on for us. Thanks to our families for their contribution and their patient support. As we continue to adhere and commit to protect the safety, health, and well-being of our learners, teachers, and personnel to prevent further transmission of COVID-19 while ensuring learning continuity, DepEd Iloilo remains committed to strengthen and improve the delivery of quality, relevant education to every Ilonggo learner. Various programs and innovations are to be implemented before the school year ends, which include the establishment of farm schools, 
can be institutionalization of the Iloilo Division Employees Academy or IDEA, among others. These initiatives shall ensure continuity of learning, not just of our learners, but also of deaf personnel appropriate to any setting or situation. Again, our sincerest congratulations to everyone, especially to this year's completers and graduates. With you all in our minds, DepEd Iloilo, the premier school's division with a glorious past, prominence of the present, a distinction of the future, shall keep our commitment of making every Ilungko learner a champion. Padayon ang edukasyon sa Iloilo, kagpadayon ang pagbuino Iloilo. My warmest congratulations to you graduates of School Year 2020-2021 of Asyenda Conchita National High School with a theme, Kalidad ng Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. This year has brought about a lot of changes and challenges to your educational journey. Yet, you have surpassed every trial and reached another milestone in the field of education. You are now a step closer to your ambition in life. Don't allow the changes around you rule the things that you wanted to achieve. Keep on dreaming and create the reality you have envisioned. The path you are now taking does not belong to your parents nor your teachers. It is yours, so make the best out of it. I would like also to commend my admiration and gratefulness to our dear parents who never failed to show their support to our students and to our school since day one up to now. Without your guidance and reinforcements, we would not reach this far. Thank you for being our advocates and for the cooperation. Dear graduates, make your school proud of you as you leave the pillars of this institution. May you not forget the reasons why you came. Continue to uphold the values and attributes of your alma mater wherever you go. And always remember, God has planned for you. In behalf of the teaching force of Asyenda Conchita National High School, congratulations and may God bless us all. A warm welcome is like a charm in any situation. To do the honor in welcoming our guests, parents, and graduates, let us hear a message of welcome from one of the academic awardees of the graduating class, Mr. Red Navarro. At long last, we have come to this point. This is the moment we all are waiting for a decade. This might signify an end, but this also leads us to a new beginning. This ends our sleepless and tiring nights, but somehow signals a new same challenge. This ends the cause of bad euphoria we receive from doing modular distance learning things. Personally, my experience told me that it's like doing something that you don't really understand. Well, that's for me. And what I say, isn't applicable for all of us but if somehow you feel the same way as i am then i guess you feel the same agony i get from doing it today is where it all ends and for some time tomorrow or next days we will go back from where it all started this is i guess the challenge Everyone who tries to be victorious in life has to undergo. We go through a series of problems and cycle of processes. We are not even sure if we will win. The chance for us to lose is not measured. May it be high or low. But then, there's one thing I am sure we obtain from all these struggles. The learning. Moment like this is not just for the honors, not just for the grade 10 completers, and definitely not just for the graduates. This is 
for all of us who bear with education's complexity in this new learning system. This is for those students who invested themselves so much to be good at face-to-face -face classes but found those investments invaluable. This is for those who excels at communication skills which they did not maximize this pandemic. This is for those who enjoy school by engaging in sports activities. For those bodily kinesthetic students who tried very hard with the challenge behind modular learning. And for those who don't only have their own modules on their pockets, but their younger siblings as well. You all have done it. You all have surpassed the quest. More importantly, this moment is for the parents who tried to ask, offer their help as they see their children struggling. They did not really help us solve the math quiz, nor write the English essay, but helped us be motivated with words to keep going. This pandemic and new learning system, I realized that the guardians and parents who are with us at home can actually provide us new sort of learnings, the ones that you can get from the four corners of the classroom. These are specifically love and trust because in times they see us struggling making rants about our work's difficulty. They guide us with words, which shows that they trust us very much and that we can surpass it. To the parents who are watching this video, congratulations, your children did you proud. To my parent, specifically to my father and grandmother, thank you for making me be the man I am now. I hope with this little award I ended up, I made you the happiest. Thank you also our teachers. Your sacrifice with personal time and effort this pandemic is also immeasurable. This couldn't be possible without you. We will always remember that no matter how far life takes us, you are a big part of our journey. In behalf of the whole Hashinda Conchita National High School family, headed by the school's officer in charge, Mrs. Emilia D. Flores, I welcome you all to this ceremony themed strengthening the quality of education amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. To the parents, the proud sisters and brothers who are watching this video at home, to my fellow students, whom I felt the love and support every single time I asked them to. To my fellow graduates, who are all my friends and had fun with since 2015 until 2020. To our dynamic and generous consultant of the school and assistant principal to SDO Iloilo Sir Nicasio B. Valenzuela. To our national speaker, Ma'am Elma Joy Silidonio and to the school staffs who made this ceremony happen. Welcome, welcome to the Hashinda Conchita National High School third senior high school virtual graduation. Good day and God bless us all. Thank you so much, Red, for your warm welcome. It is impossible to live life without failing at something. It is also impossible to achieve something without taking risk. When you take risk, you will learn that there will be times when you succeed and there will be times when you fail. And both are equally important. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we will be hearing a very inspirational message from a versatile woman. A courageous woman who turned her cans into cans and her dreams into plans. She is a woman who possesses grace, strength, intelligence, fearlessness, and with a pride to rephrase the question, who's going to let me into who's going to stop me? Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor that I introduce to you a dear friend, a colleague, 
a proud alumna of this institution, our inspirational speaker, Ms. Elma Joy Banyes. Graduation is one of the important milestones in a person's life to our students, parents, co-teachers, and to our officer in charge, Mrs. Emilia D. Flores. I am delighted to extend my warmest greetings to our graduates of school year 2020-2021. It is indeed another fruitful year to harvest that our school happily undertake despite of this pandemic. Today, I am not only congratulating you, the graduates, who successfully completed additional years of learning in high school, but I am also congratulating your proud parents and relatives who have been waiting for this very special academic achievement. In spite of the hard situation we're facing right now, but still, you didn't give up. So many nagapamatuod nga, ginagwanta ninyo ang ato new module learning, which is through printed modules. Well, I am very pleased to have been invited to be your speaker on this very special day. So, I'll be sharing to you some of my experiences, how I was able to reach my uh, situation right now. Okay, so let me start with my high school days. No, So, during my high school days, I had only 5 to 10 pesos as my everyday baon. Um, ginalakat ang um, ginalakat lang no every morning and every afternoon. So tungod uh, I had only 5 or 10 pesos. Why na may ipliti sa motor. So in chapter na ibakal sang uh, mga snacks and sud ay Okay, so and then your teachers here were my teachers too, no? And uh, ang principal during our time, no, the ever powerful principal I've ever met, Sir Nikasha B. Valenzuela, with his great uh, teaching force, Ma'am Emilia D. Flores, um, Ma'am Prisin Carl Habudilia, Ma'am Juvelisa Felicidario, Ma'am Ruth Delimes, Ma'am Maricel Umahag, Ma'am Isusa Fernandez, Ma'am Nueme C, Mr. Milano Balogo, Mr. Hill Aborde, Ms. Mr. Leo Florendo, Mr. Daryl Pereño, and Sir Eliseo Navarro. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of them. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am, censors, for shaping my high school years. And also to my critic teacher, no, sang nag practice teach ako dere, si ma'am San Rose Pedrahas. So, you all contributed to my successful journey. And, you know, during my high school days, there's no cell phone during that time. So, may ala. So, laka lang gid ang may cell phone, no? Na may kaya-kaya eh, maka-cell phone. Pero, sa ako, no? I did. So, that's why um I was able to focus on my studies. And I was able to graduate with flying colors. Okay. And then, um right after graduation, no, that's lang. Yes, four years. That's lang. Of course, I was very happy, um, excited because at last, no, after four years, bala ng lakad, no, na graduate man, honoral man, no, and then excited because uh, of the fact that I'll be entering a new world now. But of course, I also felt this fear, no, fear. Why? Because Fear, what would be my future no, in college? Fear of the new routine. Fear of being in a new school. Diba? And new place and even with new friends. So, I'm not know. So, do nag um, dako gid nga percent ang yaka fear. And aside from fear, there's also stress. Some stress pagid, so nga aman. 
safety because my parents were against the idea of me taking IT as my course. No, tungod nga man, yes, IT, that was my uh, first choice, no, a course kung mag-college ako. Why kaya nag-dream nga maging teacher? Gusto ko mapungko lang, maatuban sa computer because amo nang nabal ako obra sa mga IT. Okay, so my parents were against of that. So they wanted me to take teacher education. So ilagi niya nga plans ako or dreams ako niya mag-take sa teacher education because for me ko mabatian sa ila sa ito nga maistra ka para sa ulihin may pension ka may binapaabot ka kada bulan, hindi ka mangin kaluluoy. No, amo nang ilang nga niya, dagi dya sa una okay, so nagduwa-duwa pa ko eh, syempre, ano gibala ma teacher education ko kung ma-IT ako. So, when enrollment came, um, I was with my mother because hindi ko pa na sa gawod gidang isan siya. Ay, kung nakatulog ko, hindi yung dadapit ang nipsi. Okay, so, ginupda niya ko siya. And, you know, um, she was surprised when she saw the paper, no? Ang um, papel na ginafill upan. So, nakita niya dito nga uh, hindi IT ang aking yung sulat, kundi uh, Biz Ed English Major. Nakibot siya, oh, nga man, nag, ano, nga naman nag Biz Ed na di nga hindi na di IT. Sige rin ko, bahala na eh. No? Kiti, sige nga muna lang ni ako nga kwaon eh. English lang kay hindi man ko mangom ako sa mat. No? Nag-English itong ginalikawan nga, ginalikawan ang math nga subject. Okay? So, amo na, uh, nag-change ako nga mind, no? Yes. I had followed their dream for me. Bahala na. Amo na ako nga din nga daman. Okay? So, you see, life is full of twists and turns. This was one of my realizations during my first year in college. Nga aman, no? Nga aman, full of twists and turns. Okay, because what you don't like right now might be interesting for you the next year. Okay, so first year. Tungod kay, ah, kinpilit mo ng self mo, o do di pagawa, ano, do di ka pagawa, gid, focus sa first year no nga pag -eskwela. but sa second year na dito mo na na-realize though dito na nag-change na yung mga perspective ay nangit man yung galing nga course may mga galing isang problema no? pero you know teacher education course is not an easy course lots of reports to be done and lots of projects to be submitted so ano kidya Mm, let's say, yes, nabudlay. Nabudlay ang gig ko. And, you know, I had to maintain my grades. No? Kahit tungod, I am one of the ISQ scholars during the time. So, kung nalan, wa ang feeling grades. Kahit kung may feeling grades, so, mataktak ka sa scholar, baka nugon sang uh, pila pa to, uh, contribution sa imong admission. Okay? So, and then, no? Uh, fast forward, uh, after four years of living alone, yes, so four years in a no, teacher education. So, why living alone? Because I took a boarding house, tungod, syempre malayo, uh, para iwas man sang dako nga gasto eh, no? So, nag-board ako, apat ka to aid, and, you know, taking a boarding, boarding house, this means... Um, you are living alone, no? Um, you or I cook my own meal. I uh, laundry my own clothes. And I have to budget 300 to 500 pesos per week. No, ang malangid na niya. Yes, 300 ang akin nga allowance kada semana. Kung daw, dako-dako ang bintas ang changi, so, gaka 500 man per week. And, for that amount, no, 
may gakasi di ko si naiya after one week sa gapa uli ako every Friday okay so ano na no um imagine three hundred to five hundred and you know what ang ako nga Sudan always for one week tungod kay gatipid no noodles yes mga instant foods ang ginapangsudan ko kag ang magdugay-dugay man yung makastay for one week and you know nga aman amo na ang akon nga amo nang pagtipid ko because uh, lots of books to be photocopied and buay kuya gapangayo sa ila nga o oh, amo ni o oh, may ipa-photocopy or may ipabind kami nga libro so buay ko na gapangayo So, ginakuha ko na sa allowance na ginahatag nila sa akin every week. And, you know, uh, after uh, sleepless nights, no, uh, dasig lang kung hindi mo lang hindi pagpanumdumungid, no, da dasig lang ang apat ka tuig na pag sa college. Okay, so I was able to graduate. And, you know, I had one regret which led me to another realization. But may regret yun na iya. Enjoy, make friends, and learn new good things from them. So, I didn't say nga waay ko sa mga friends. Siyempre, may alam ako circle of friends. But what I mean to say is, um, do waay gid balagawa ng enjoy. Tungod, uh, ina ang mga friends ko, no? Siyempre, naka-focus gid sa pag-eskwela. So, eskwela, school, boarding house, school, boarding house. So, do ay gawa na enjoy man. Na-enjoy man, pero not totally gid nga pero sa ibang balaya. Okay? So, tungod ki ang go gid is to graduate. So, ang muna ang nakatatak. And, uh, remember that college is not just about passing subjects after subjects. Ang muna yung matandaan. Treat it as a place where you can uh, discover new skills or talent and um, a place where you can improve your uh, social skills. Okay? So, sa high school, mahuya on, uh, no? no? ng huloy on yung balaya na klase. Sa college, nagmuromedyo na No, na doon kung baga doon naka, nag-expose gamay okay, fast forward again um, I was able to pass the let after months of review okay, so after graduation nagpasipi kay ang plano ma-review dito but before that uh, nag-apply kami sa work and we stayed for one week only because you know, hindi kaya Okay, so, amo na lang to, no? Nag-focus kami sa amo niya review. And, during uh, board exam, that was on September, no? Ah, uh, grabe. Nang expectation mo bala nga, nag-review ka. Nga, abi mo, magwa ang mga gimpang review mo. May nagwa man, pero gamay lang gid no gamay lang gid kinahanan gid ang stock knowledge ya yeah, during sang exam and you know um wa gid yan nag-expect gani nga makapasa kay tungod tama ka budlay lain no ang expectation mo balaya sa lain gali iya so amo na no very thankful because i was able to pass And, you know, um, I applied then here, no? Nag-apply ako dari. And after one week of volunteer, so I was hired. And naging permanent after one month of volunteer. Pero hindi amo na kadali nga nakapasar ka sa board, nag-apply ka, nakasulod ka dahil, no? It's not that easy. So, after song board, damo pa sa exam maging pangwa, may interview pa, may demo. So, damo pa before nga na-hired permanently, gadari. And, you know, I am now in my four years, gadari, no, sa school. So, kadasig lang. Apat na ko di galik ka tuig, no? And I was very grateful to our um, 
supreme being no tungod sa pagaidya sa ako nga nangyari ako diri sa singing situation and now I am pursuing my master's degree uh, dito man sa my Nipsey Estancia, Japan and we're having our, our online class because of this pandemic okay so for you to know I had met many obstacles along the way syempre sino lang ba lang atawa ang waay problema ang waay may gaka-experience ng mga problema sa iya pang lakaton adlaw-adlaw. So, I had met also many obstacles. But how I chose my path, of course, I am not alone. You see, I experienced working under the heat of the sun or even under the rain. No, na pang agyan ko na ang uh, mamangga sa kamaisan, mga harvest, Manghilamon sa kampo or tanin lang ubra and I was uh, I also experienced na nag uh, part-time job sa JV that was in my college no dito pa lang apart no uh, I get kalabot 1,000 ang sweldo per week pero ang feeling na na ka-share ka something sa iyong mga family, may nabaka ka something para sa mga siblings, grabe na nga contentment, kag-happiness, no? Kag dito ko pag na-realize, oh, what if makagraduate ko? What if makaobra ko kag may dako ng sweldo? Ano nagidayhan ng happiness na ilang mabatsyagan, no? So, muna ang ginitanong ko pag-ibig sa akin yung mind. Okay, so you see, Success is not an end goal. Oh, mahabahan mo o, oh, nakateach na niya, naging eskwila, pagid ni, no, hindi dapat kitungod na ka, ano ka na, mas stop ka na lang that, no. You have to be ambitious, but in a positive way. Manging ambitious ka, hindi ka da mas stuck sa sinalanga place. Kung pwede pa man galing nga mag uh, level up, so go. Don't ever stop stuck in that place okay and you know success it's a never ending process towards happiness and fulfillment and it's changing because goals change as we grow older right now all of you are all senior high school graduates most of you will go to college so aim for that diploma as your next goal may alam man niya binga hindi maka-eskala sa college. O, sige lang. Find ways, no? Damo, damo ways. You have, pwede ka gin makapangitaan isang ubra. Tipon ka. Asta nga, may uh, gamiton ka na sa mga pag-eskala. So, sa mga uh, students na mag-go to college, no? Focus gives sa studies. Get a part-time job if financial resources are not enough. O kung gani, uh, kung waay pag uh, job mo siyang face-to-face, pwede ka mo yung maka-part-time job. And don't lose hope because there are windows of opportunities na naka-reserve sa kada isa sa inyo. No? May mga opportunities ginaya. Hindi nga kung hindi na masalangan sa inyo ginikanan, mas stop kag mamana or mga sawa na lang ka mo, kay mahaba ka mo, na ka mo sa choice. Hindi naman kaya sa inyo ginikanan. No. Kung inihila kaya, press kaya ko nyo. No? You, there's always a choice and nakadepende na naiya sa imo ya, no? Ang imo nga pag-strive. Hindi nga masali, masalig ka na lang galik itungod, hindi na kaya sa imo nga parents. So, may ayra nga mga working student, gani, naka-graduate man, no? Naka, Naka-secure man sa ila nga uh, future. So, but sa lingon, nakadepende lang giniya sa tao, ya. Yeah. Kag hindi magpadala-dala sa mga barkada, eh, no? Pili, may pili on man mga barkada nga may good influence. Hindi nga inang mga barkada nga waigid sa maayong nga influence sa imo. Okay, so it's a must to have with friends gani, but it's never okay to attend your face-to-face or even your online class with hangover. Oh, hindi niya maayo. 
it's okay to have a love life but know your limitations. Mga nadidirin at diya kalabanan no, mga kalagap po kang iban. Know your limitations. For girls, uh, tandain niyo ang itsura sa inyong amay na nagatulo ang balhas para lang mapaiskwela, kagmahatag ang inyo na ginapangayo. And for boys, panumduman nyo man ang, ing, ang itsura sa inyo nga iloy, no? Ang nagahimakas man. It's okay to feel once, twice, or even thrice. But, make sure na makatindog or makabangon ka. Kag makamove forward. Hindi nga na-feel ka. Why na? Dara ka na lang. Why ka na maging himo? So, you have to move forward. And, paminsan na ninyo ang inyong mga ginikanan kang mga utod, no? Uh, ng, let's say, may mga expectation bala sa inyo. No? Try your best not to fail them. And, always be grateful. Small things, no? Always be grateful. Pasalamati. And, be positive again. Inabalangin haba nga, positivity attracts positivity. So, kung positive always ang imo mindset, so, kalabanan, positive man ang nagkakalatab sa imo. And, you know, most importantly, pray good. Bayaan ka na sa tanan, pero si Lord, hindi good magbiya sa imo. He is ready always to listen whatever man nga uh, dinadesire mo. So, ara din siya ya. And I am one of that strong believer, you know. No, to why did it possible sa prayer again? No, just have a strong faith, and all your dreams, your desires, ihatag yung gidna. No, okay. So once again, thank you and congratulations, graduates. Thank you so much, Ma'am Elma, for sharing your story with us. Surely, you have inspired our graduates and have given them ample reflections in life to ponder. At this point, we will give way to the men and women who served as the pillars of the Department of Education and frontliners of this institution. Men and women who have worked hand in hand to bring out the success of this school year and will continue to do more for the coming years. Let us start with Secretary Leonor Magtulis Briones, Secretary of the Department of Education of the Philippines. Our Regional Director, Dr. Ramir B. Oitico. And our school's division superintendent, Sir Ruel F. Bermejo. The teaching force of Ashenda Conchita National High School is headed by our officer in charge, Mrs. Emilia D. Flores. From the senior high school department, we have Miss Lavinia E. Arbiz, Mrs. Juvelisa A. Felicidario, Mrs. Christine Carl A. Hagodilla, Mr. Eliseo F. Navarro Jr., and Mrs. Cherry Pink P. Villanueva. From the Junior High School Department, Grade 7 Curriculum Mrs. Marizel P. Umahat Miss Adathea T. Delphine and Miss Mary Grace M. Likuan From the Grade 8 Curriculum Miss Lovelyn C. Lariano Miss Elma Joy Banyes and Mrs. Maria Jesusa B. Fernandez from the Grade 9 Curriculum, Miss Shella Joy N. DeSena, Miss Anne-Marie V. Diderot, and Miss Romela N. Doronila. Grade 10 Curriculum, Mrs. Rowena A. Nona Eliada, Mrs. Charmin Grace E. Salguera, and Miss Ruth F. Deliomes. 
from the non-advisory group, Mrs. Sanros S. Pedrajas, Mrs. Rhea Jane A. Peliado, Ms. Christine May D. Trinidad, Ms. Sheena N. Panes, Ms. Choice L. Formalidad, Ms. Darlene Choi L. Opeña, and Mr. Raymar A. Plazuela. We also have teachers funded by the local school board. We have Ms. Pearly D. Panganiban and Ms. Livea Dea Delphine. At this point, we will proceed with the presentation of the candidates for graduation by our officer in charge, Mrs. Emilia D. Flores, which will be followed by the confirmation of the graduates by Sir Nicasio B. Valenzuela, Assistant School Principal to SDO Iloilo. I have the honor to present to you the 77 senior high school graduating students of Asienda Conchita National High School. 34 male and 43 female who have satisfactorily completed the academic requirements for the K-12 curriculum for the school year 2020-2021 and now ready for your confirmation. By virtue of the authority in me vested by Dr. Roel F. Bermijo, Schools Division Superintendent, Schools Division of Iloilo, and upon the recommendation of Mrs. Emilia D. Flores, Officer in charge that you have satisfactorily completed the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education for secondary schools under the K-12 basic education curriculum, I now confirm your graduation this 14th day of July 2021 in the year of our Lord. As such, you have all the rights, benefits, and privileges appertaining thereto. Congratulations! to batch 2021 graduates of Asienda Conchita National High School. Congratulations everyone! You are now confirmed graduates of school year 2020-2021. I may now give you the respective advisors of the grade 12 curriculum to present to you the graduates of each section. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the senior high school graduates of Asienda Conchita National High School Bats 2020-2021, Grade 12A. Aguilar Airo Magdali. Alarcon Junior Hernani Compio. Anatin Janel Chavez. Belmis Ashley Niken Miyamo. Garanza Jack Lubiano De La Paz Carl Kenneth Bucani Delphine Eldimer Tinasas Divina Gracia Reinhard Fuentes Renante Michael Agupalo Fernandez Jr. Eddie Papna La Chica Jomni Concel Laurencio Benmar Paja Losendo Herson de la Cruz Martinez Jeffrey Banez Navarro Red Batan Batan Erika Plazuela Langka Flor, Precious Joy, Gilyargan Bukna, Rhea Jean, Wela Burgos, Myla Arenos Burgos, Rilin May, Abunyawan Camposa, Camille, Belocelo Camposa, Renzel, Bueno Costona Geraldine Dolar Di Tomas Christine Marie Panolin Delphine Sara Eunice Libuon Dinosca Joy Laurencio 
Fernandez Angel Pulinan Magno Kaila May Himulaga Moiko Kishel Navarro Monica Hipolito Pagdato Jean Rose Alvarez Palma Junessa Galgo Panolin Mary Jean Velarde Sabino Nicaros Uy Sardoma Almira Saituque Sikita Aileen Joy Banner and Taburno Aryan Grace Haspe Ladies and gentlemen, here are the senior high school graduates of El Shanda Conchita National High School, Batch 2020-2021, Grade 12B. Arrojo Ronel Cabuyo. Batallones Rodel Andreas. Batan Amiel Seth Glenn Cabuyo. Binliro Nairon Martin Di Mayo Besijo Cesar Palma Besijos Rian Palma Biagtan Janelle De La Cruz Blancaflor Mark Ambong Ceredonio Junior Azer Balogo Conihar Marco Mendiola Dumali John Marvin Barnuevo Dumali John Ryan Barnuevo Hipolito John Andro Lazareto Mendiola Ryan G. Arbigoso Ramos Ronel D. Asis Santiago John Ray Bermudo Seva Rafael June Balabagno Saudod Eljan Lagahi Vittorio Alwan Tevez Aglobo Nikki Dableo Arrojo Roland May Cabuyok Banyas Precious Joan Aquino Bailon Joan Smile Española Binisahan Joyce Casipe Bitita Jane Sikita Blanca Flor Maria Elizabeth Cobrado Blanca Flor Michelle Camago De La Cruz Jenny Lynn Morong De La Cruz Welma Benyabon Dogomeo Robilyn Arlante Dolar Jessica Erelante Española Lori Ann Joy Aligato From Buena Gemayril Panulit Gutib Ivony Castro Inosante Daniel Faith Panulit Laurio Aiko Villanueva Navarro Alaysa Halico Peneda Rona Pacumba Sanchez Julina Fernandez and Villegas Rochelle Sevilla 
According to the former American Secretary of Defense, Robert McNamara, brains like hearts go where they are appreciated. To give due appreciation to the perseverance and hard work exerted by these individuals, let me introduce to you the Academic Excellence Awardees of the Grade 12 Curriculum. Blanca Flor Precious Choi Gilliergan, with high honors. A Globo Nikki Dableo, with honors. Bartan Erika Plazuela, with honors. Bisiho Cesar Palma, with honors. Bisihus Rian Palma, with honors. Blanca Flor Michelle Camago, with honors. Blanca Flor Mark Ambong, with honors. Burgos Rilin May Abunyuan, with honors. Celedonio Jr. Azur Balamo, with honors. Dolor Jessica Erilante, with honors. Española Lorian Choi Alegato with honors. Fernandez Angel Polinag with honors. Fernandez Eddie Papna Jr. with honors. Navarro Monica Hipolito with honors. Navarro Red Batan with honors. Navarro Alisa Halico with honors. Honors. Sabino Nicaros Uy with honors. Sanchez Jolina Fernandez with honors. Chago Janre Bermudo with honors. Ends are not but things. They just mean that something else is about to begin. And there are many things that don't really end anyway. They just begin in a new way. Let us hear Precious Joy Blanca Flor. Class with high honors for her closing remarks. Our supportive consultant of the school and assistant principal to SDO Iloilo, Sir Nicasio B. Valenzuela, to our hardworking officer in charge of the school, Ma'am Emilia D. Flores, to our inspirational speaker, Ma'am Elma Joy Celedonio, 
to our dedicated and untiring faculty and staff, proud parents, fellow graduates, honor students and online viewers, ladies and gentlemen, a blessed morning to all of you. In this year's theme, Kalidad ng Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya, or strengthening the quality of education amazed the COVID-19 pandemic. School year 2020-2021 has been challenging and tough because of the global crisis caused by COVID-19. We all witnessed how this pandemic conquered the world, but still, we are more stronger in invading this pandemic. And now, we are here, facing in front of you, as graduates of school year 2020-2021. We all accomplished one of the major early milestones of our lives, high school graduation. We all work hard, despite the pandemic, to get to this day. We have finally succeeded in climbing the ladder of challenging, yet fulfilling journey in the senior high school. Finally, receiving our diplomas in this momentous occasion have filled all of our hearts with great joy and contentment. This is the proof of our hard work, dedication, and commitment to excellence. We have made ourselves proud and triumphant by continuing the legacy and faced all the struggles that come on our way. Pursuing our educational goal is one of the things that will help us secure a brighter future. We carried big responsibilities in our shoulders that trained us to be strong and independent young individuals who are ready to take on bigger tasks. After all, senior high school has not only imparted us knowledge from our lessons, but also made us realize the importance of values and virtues that we must live by. We are about to take a big leap towards the great future that awaits us. We will now be entering a completely new environment as we become college students. Let's live our lives with our arms wide open, embracing the light of the wonders of this new beginning. Goodbye high school life, welcome college journey. So, I hope with all of my heart that each one of you cherish these precious moments we have spent together. Because no matter how much you want to, you can't come back to high school. The dramas and fights, laughter and tears, breakups and makeups, disappointment and lies, yelling with best friends and chicas, enjoying pranks and false alarms, doing naughty things which is against the rules of school, having fun and cutting classes, jumping over the walls of school, teasing each other and the messed up days, especially during exams. Everything eventually ends, but we have to accept it. Bidding goodbye to one another, especially to our dear alma mater, Hacienda Conchita National High School, really hurts. But we have to accept the reality. Today is one of those days for all of us. Today, we say our goodbyes. But as Winnie the Pooh said, how lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. We are the lockdown batch. We are the quarantine batch. And we are the no graduation face-to-face -face batch. But we're still lucky because of this virtual graduation. Today is very tough. Tomorrow is even more tougher, but the day after tomorrow is beautiful. Why? Because every tough day, every tough situation, every problem we met serves as training of ourselves. For today's situation, nothing is easy. Nothing is free. If you want to be successful, you have to pay the price. Life clearly taught us that we should not be afraid to commit mistakes because mistake is our best asset. If you commit mistakes, you failed. And when you failed, never give up because giving up is the birth of all regrets. 
Just pray and do not lose hope. Believe in God, for He always listens to our wishes and heart desires. But He may answer our prayers in three ways. First, no. Second, yes. And the third one, not this time. So we need to be patient, for the best is yet to come. As we look around today, and all the people who help make us who we are, I know it feels like we're saying goodbye, but we will carry a piece of each other into everything we do next to remind us of who we are and what we're meant to be. I've had a great two years with you. My fellow graduates, always remember this line. We are the best author of our life story, so make it beautiful. Thank you and congratulations to us. Prodeo et Patria. Thank you, Precious, for that powerful closing remarks. Your word is a bond. It remains the measure of stability because it measures our sense of loyalty. Let us hear Mary Jean Panolin class with honors in her pledge of loyalty. We, the graduates of class 2021, solemnly pledge to be ever loyal to our dear alma mother, the Ashenda Conchita National High School, to uphold its dignity and honor in our thoughts, words, and actions. And I do solemnly swear to keep our faith to God, our Father, over a life good work, so help us God. At this point, we will be hearing from Rhea Jean Bugna, the class president for the alumni oath. Classmates, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name, Rhea Jean Bugna, being alumna of Oshenda Conchita National High School, do her by pledge to be faithful to our alma mater, to uphold its teaching and principles, and live according to the moral standard of our school. We must entrust ourselves, Father, so help me God. Thank you, Rhea. This concludes the third senior high school graduation ceremony and the 12th commencement exercises of Ashanda Conchita National High School. To the graduates, your diploma is your key to a brighter future. Think of it as your ticket to change the world. Once again, congratulations!